Hey guys, so I'm going to explain what one-to-one -one net metering is if you have that for, through your utility company for your solar system. So that conversation is coming up. So I think one of the big things when you are looking into a home solar system is with, the, with your utility company and if they have one-to-one -one net metering, because if they do, that's going to be a big advantage for you to have a solar system and not have a battery. So basically, yeah, the big thing with net metering is either you have net metering and you can basically use the grid as a huge battery, or you don't have net metering through your utility company, and that's when maybe a battery might be worth it for you but you'd have to work out the numbers on that. So uh, I'm gonna explain what one-to-one -one net metering is because we do still have that through PG&E. Um, it's gonna go away pretty soon here, but for right now it's still there. So I wanna explain what it is. So in case your utility company has that, you can understand how you can take advantage of that with a home solar system. So when you are looking for a solar system and you're getting quotes, uh, every, every local installer is gonna ask you how much energy you use a year. And so basically you're going to get that, you're going to give them that information and they're going to tell you, okay, you, you know, if you use 9,000 kilowatt hours a year, we can build you a system that produces 9,000 kilowatt hours a year, which is, you know, going to be a hundred percent offset. But what you have to also keep in mind is what, like when you're going to switch over to a solar system, the utility company is going to make you go to a time of use rate. So that's what this is here. So most people, if they don't have solar, they're mostly going to be on a tiered rate, which is basically just a flat amount. Um, so basically for pg es every kilowatt hour you use is 28 cents until you hit a baseline. And then if you use more energy than that, then it goes up to 36 cents. So with a time of use rate, depending on the rate, there may or may not be a baseline. But if you have solar, it doesn't really matter because you have solar and you're producing credits or one-to-one -one Basically, and it's energy that basically is worth one to one. So, if you produce a kilowatt hour of energy uh, for this time of use rate here, you'll make thirty cents. And when you use a kilowatt hour of energy, it'll also cost you thirty cents. So that's where the one to one is basically a wash. You produce a kilowatt hour of energy, and if you use a kilowatt hour of energy, it's not going to cost you anything. However, it also matters when you use it. So you know, obviously the sun is out during the day. And so for basically every time of use rate, that's going to be off peak hours. So uh, pg es this one is from 12 a.m. to 4 p.m. is off peak. So that's pretty much going to be when your solar system is producing energy. So at that time, you're going to be producing energy at 30 cents a kilowatt hour. Now for this particular time of use rate that we're on, time of use C, the uh, on peak is four to nine every day. So Monday through Friday, not Monday, Sunday through Saturday. And why that's important is because the long, so basically a lot of people will think for time of use rates that if you have solar, you want to go with something like this, where the on peak is a smaller window. But really what you should think about is you want to be on a rate that has a bigger uh, peak window, because especially in the summer when the, su uh, when the sun is out longer, that means that you're going to have more time to produce on peak credits, which are more valuable because instead of producing uh, kilowatt hours that you're going to get 30 cents for, you're going to get kilowatt hours produced at 37 cents. So that's very valuable, especially if you use a lot of energy during, you know, the nighttime. So four to nine is like prime time when everybody's home. And so if you have a longer time of use, like a longer on peak window through your time of use rate, that means you're going to produce more valuable energy. So as I mentioned before, net metering, one-to-one -one net metering is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. So if you're using a, you know, say you're working from home during the day and use a one kilowatt hour at 9 a.m., that's going to cost you 30 cents. But if you produced one kilowatt hour anytime between 12 a.m. and 4 p.m., that's also going to, you're also going to gain 30 cents. So that's basically a net wash. If we don't, if we don't include delivery fees and things like that, I'm not even going to get into that because it's going to get confusing, but that's where this one-to-one -one net metering comes in. So if we look at my little, uh, little chart here, so like I showed you here, 
off peak rate is 30 cents, peak is 37. So let's say one day we produced 20 kilowatt hours of off peak energy. So that's going to give you a credit of $6 and we produced two kilowatt hours of on-peak energy. That's gonna be 74 cents at 37 cents a kilowatt hour. So that would have been, like I said, four to six. So if you have a bigger window, whereas if I have, if I was on time of use D, you'd only be five to eight. So in that scenario, you'd only be producing one kilowatt hour of peak energy, and that other kilowatt hour would have been off-peak. So you're gonna gain a little bit more money there, which is important. So for this one day, production was $6.74. So now if we go to the usage part, let's say that same day we use five kilowatt hours of off-peak energy, that's gonna cost you $1.50 at 30 cents. And we use four kilowatt hours of on-peak energy, so that's gonna cost you $1.48 at 37 cents. And so if we do a little comparison here on the side, you can see that if we used four kilowatt hours of peak energy, like I said, it cost $1.74, but we only produce two kilowatt hours of on-peak energy. So that means that you're still out 74 cents that you have to make up uh, in those two kilowatt hours. So that extra energy is gonna come from your off-peak. So basically you're gonna pull your two kilowatt hours of peak energy and two kilowatt hours of off-peak energy. So that's gonna be 60 cents that you produced, but it costs you 74 cents. So that means that's a difference of 14 cents. So instead of basically it being one-to-one -one a wash because you didn't produce two kilowatt hours of peak energy, that means you need to pull one extra credit of off-peak energy to cover this 14 cents. It's really half a kilowatt basically because you know 30 divided by 14 is, uh, well, 14 times two is 30. So you'd really be using another half a kilowatt hour of off-peak energy to cover this and basically make your total that you owe PG&E or, or your utility company zero. So just keep in mind when you're looking for a solar system through your uh, local companies that basically, you know, they're gonna give you, hey, we're gonna give you this many panels and it's gonna give you this much usage. But remember that one-to-one -one net metering is based on time of use. So uh, you have to be careful how you use that energy so it doesn't come out to be like, hey, I, I, I still owe, you know, $100 or whatever uh, because, I used more on-peak energy than I produced and the off-peak energy that I produced didn't cover enough of the on-peak and off-peak energy that I used. So in some situations, you might actually want to oversize your system just a little bit to kind of cover that and also degradation as well of the panels. And so, you know, if you go to like 110% offset or something like that, you should be okay. Um, it's kind of worth it to do that. That way you can you know, take into consideration those factors like more on peak usage or degradation of the panels later where they're not gonna be producing as much. And one other thing I wanted to talk about is with one-to-one -one net metering through your utility company, if you do have that, most likely they're gonna put you on a yearly true up schedule. So instead of paying or owing money to the utility every month, what they do is they're gonna basically give you a, you know, a a document, uh, not a bill, but a document every month to tell you how you're doing uh, throughout the year. So it's like, okay, this month you saved, you know, five, you know, a hundred dollars. And then the next month you owe a hundred dollars. And so it keeps going for the entire year. And so basically once that year happens, uh, because solar, you know, because the sun is out more in the summer and less in the winter, they basically do it an entire year. So it evens out instead of all this roller coaster up and down paying and then owing, paying, and then them owing you and all this type of stuff. So uh, one thing I want to note on that is on that yearly trip, if you do overproduce and you have, you know, 500 kilowatt hours that you didn't use, you're not going to get a one-to-one -one credit on that extra energy that you produced after that year. They have it in their agreement that basically if you overproduce, you're going to get like three or four cents a kilowatt hour instead of getting like 30 or 37 cents a kilowatt hour. So keep that in mind as well. And this is why you don't wanna oversize your system too much because basically it's not gonna be worth it from ROI standpoint because you're just spending extra money that you're not gonna get back because at the end of the year, if your offset is too high, you're gonna get cents back and like a couple cents back instead of getting 30 or 37 cents for each kilowatt hour that you're overproducing. So that's what one-to-one -one net metering is. Hope that was helpful um, and you understand what 
it is exactly through the utility company. So you can, you know, make a informed choice when you, you know, are considering getting a solar system for your house. So if you thought the video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.